So we've talked about recording slide presentations, but I've got kind of a different twist on this that I want to share with you. This is one of my favorite uses of slides in the classroom, and it has to do with making stop motion animation with Google Slides or a PowerPoint or something like that, and it fits perfectly with Screencastify. So here's basically what you do is you create a new slide presentation and you draw out whatever it is that you want to animate. And so once you have your first slide like this, you duplicate it. And then on that second slide, once you've duplicated it, you move something. Duplicate again and then move something. Duplicate again and then move something. Duplicate again and then move something. And then what's neat is that when you put it into present mode, you can flip through these slides quickly. Create a screencast video and you can flip through these slides and show how it's animating. You can use your microphone to talk about it and then you can even embed a little webcam so they can see your face as you talk. And so I could even see groups of two students where one of them reads from a script and the other one is flipping through the slides. And this stop motion slides idea crosses over all grade levels and content areas. For instance, if you were doing science, this is one of my favorite science examples from the, a teacher named Chris Baker in Philadelphia, where his students were talking about the sodium potassium pump that has to do with muscle contraction. They diagram the whole thing out and put it into motion. You could even use this in like an English class where you're talking about a story and even include some dialogue. I don't know what this story is exactly from, but, <laughs> and then you can even go further than that. This is one of my favorite videos where it shows how your animation could really look if you took time to make it look really nice. So whether it's really polished like this or it's a little bit more basic like this one, this stop motion slides idea really could be a fun thing to do in the classroom.